Hey, and welcome to the show. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look below the forest floor as we discuss the roots of trees. So let's start with the forest giant, the Sierra Redwood, giant sequoia. A perfect example and dramatic fact about most trees, which contrasts most beliefs that all trees have tap roots. Now as seen here in the sequoia, the root system, similar to most trees, is very shallow. It's wider than the tree is tall, and it doesn't have a traditional tap root. In fact, only 2% of trees do. Now a similar root structure can be seen here with the Swiss stone pine, another very shallow root system, and you can see the drip line, denoted by those two vertical bars, only captures a small portion of the root system. And if we take a step back and view the roots from above, a bird's eye view, we can see that just how massive these roots are, starting out from the center against the trunk, you'll have those thick, robust roots, growing out to the fine, fibrous roots at the root tips. Now this 18 foot tall tree has a root system of 35 feet wide, stretching and extending two times the height of that tree. With only 2% of trees having tap roots, it's only possible for trees that are grown naturally in the wild or if they were grown from seed. Another example of a tree with no main tap root is the Douglas fir tree. The fir also has a great example of a root flare at the base of its tree. This area is commonly mistaken for the roots and can easily be damaged if buried, uh, leading to reduced health and other issues long term for the tree. And this can be easily prevented by keeping that root flare area clean. Now generally flares are six times wider than the diameter of the trunk of the tree and this can be measured 4.5 feet from the soil line. Now let's take a look at a tree that has a tap root. The Scots Pine, seen here, demonstrates an excellent example where the taproot drops very deep. Now at 7 feet tall, the taproot seen here drops 11 feet deep with a 14 foot wide root system. Now as mentioned, only trees that grow naturally in the wild will have a taproot, and even them, only 2% of those trees, generally oak, some pines, and a few nut trees. Now sometimes trees can virtually amaze us with their ability to grow in incredible places like the sides of a cliff or growing out from stone crops or on the side of a rocky outcrop on the ocean side. Now the Austrian pine shown here is a perfect example of just that. Now the tree appears to be growing directly from the limestone rock when in fact its thick exposed roots have forced themselves deep into the rock seeking out nutrients and moisture. Now once the roots can locate that debris cone below the rock, the roots will blanket and anchor the debris in the fine earth below, heavily anchored 40 centimeters below the rocky surface. Now as we've seen in the video, the root systems of trees is very different depending on the type of tree and the soil conditions of the tree's living environment. In future videos, we'll explore other tree species and more in-depth discoveries about the roots of trees. So thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy.